Hey guys, welcome back to Shop Dust, where in this video, I'm going to turn this big slab of lived edge birch into a shelving system, as well as another big slab laying down here on the floor. Uh, this slab is going to be suspended from a ceiling and the floor joist by some black pipe, uh, one on the end, one in the middle, and one on the other end. Uh, I'm going to make three floating shelves and then with this slab that's on the floor, I'll show you here in a little bit, uh, I'm going to be using a U-shaped piece of black pipe, uh, fittings and all that, and uh, I'll be hanging different shelves at different levels and different spacings from rope. Uh, so stay tuned and see how I get this done and accomplished it. So here we are at a crucial junction in this project. Why you might ask, is it crucial? I have to cut this board. Uh, this slab was right around $180. Uh, I didn't pay for it. It's for a friend of mine, a client, if, uh, if you like. But uh, measure twice, cut once. Uh, and in my case, measure four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times how many ever times it takes to not screw this up. Uh, my plan is, is uh, this board is 144 inches long, 12 feet. Uh, I need to get a 94 inch shelf, that's seven foot, 10 inches, uh, out of the middle of this. And then I need to get three floating shelves. Each floating shelf is gonna be one foot, four and a half inches. Uh, so 16 and a half inches and I'm going to get one out of that end and two out of this end. Uh, <clears throat> they were supposed to be one foot six inches, but I want to use one board for one project. So uh, the other board is for a completely different project, kind of in the same realm as this one, but different. And I need, and I need that whole board. This, uh, this board is four quarter, uh, so two inches thick. And, uh, and very wide, uh, too wide for my planer the way it sits now. Uh, hence the uh, blue chalk line running down one face. Uh, my friend does want it flat up against a wall on one edge, just the one edge and the live edge showing on the other side. So easy enough, uh, I'll probably take a, a piece of plywood and screw it down and run that straight edge through the table saw there. Uh, my planer is only 13 inches wide and from this widest section to my chalk line is 13 inches. Uh, should be able to get it through the planer. If not, I'm going to have to use my, uh, my hand planes to do it, uh, but I don't think so. Uh, 13 inch wide board, 13 inch plater, the math works. Uh, so with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it into its sections for now. Uh, probably cut that board off that end and keep the two together so when I run those through the planer it's one long board, one short board. And then this one uh, I'm just going to have to leave long. Uh, it is a big heavy slab so uh, if I cut it down a little bit it'll be easier to maneuver around the shop and uh, easier to work with. So uh, enough talking. Let's get to cutting and uh, get this all squared away.
So here we are with the uh, finished up boards here. Uh, well, finished for now. And uh, so this one I'm gonna put a, uh, a couple bow ties in to stop that cracking. I'll probably put a couple small ones in this board as well. Uh, uh, but in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna be making these bolts here. Uh, I made this out of just a piece of of half inch round bar that you can find at any box store, uh, cut them down to size and, uh, and then uh, threaded this end so that uh, the plan here is to go cut about an inch and a half to two inches off of this board here on, on one side of each of these boards, uh, cut a straight line there and this bolt is going to set in between and drill another hole into this board so that this piece of the smooth rod will support the shelf. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking and show you how I'm gonna do this. It'll probably make a lot more sense that way, uh, but that's just kind of a rundown of what's going on here.
So here you go guys, what I was trying to explain. Uh, have two lag bolts coming out. This side will go against the wall and this side all slips into the rest of the shelf and acts as supports. Uh, of course I inset the bolts and, uh, and the lags so all this slides together flush and uh, yeah uh, it came out pretty good. Uh, it takes a little fandangling Oops. But there we go. Uh, kind of working on this right here. Uh, this is supposed to be kind of seamless, but uh, it didn't quite turn out that way. The bottom side, you can barely see the seam, uh, but the top side, you can. But I don't think that that's going to be too much of an issue. So uh, these lag bolts, uh, you know, this is going into a log cabin, so uh, you know, I can screw these into anywhere. Of course, if you have studs, uh, that's where you're going to want to measure for and, and put those into some studs, So, which means your shelf skinny is going to have to be longer or shorter or, you know, measured out a little better than, than this is. But, yeah, uh, I will show you guys uh, the process of doing this.
three live edge floating shelves. Uh, pretty easy project, I uh, really enjoyed doing them. Uh, one of the problems I have is you can't see the bow ties because they're up a little bit high, but that's okay. Uh, it, they'll at least stop the wood from cracking any more than it already is. Uh, them being inside of a cabin like this, uh, they were a little difficult to get leveled forwards and backwards because there is a bit of a crown on each of these logs. So I uh, kind of had to shim behind this one uh, a little bit. Uh, to get it to get it nice and level for the client. Uh, I don't have time to do the uh, the top slab that's going all the way across the 94 inch slab that I talked about earlier in this video. Uh, that'll be just have to be its own separate video. Uh, but I think I might mix it in with the other shelving unit that I'm going to be putting in this place. Uh, so with that, guys, uh, if you like it, please like and subscribe. And with that, you guys keep working in the shop.